right, we're moving on. We're getting toward the end of the month, and it's the 27th now. So let me turn the page, and we'll get over to the 27th. Okay, on the 27th, it says we paid cash for repairs to office equipment of $500. All right, cash is involved here, isn't it? Is the cash account uh, increasing or decreasing as we pay? Well, it's decreasing or it's going out. If you remember, cash is an asset. Decreases in assets are recorded by credits. And credits go on the second line. So I went ahead and just penciled in cash. We're going to credit for the $500. The question here is, what is your debit? Were repairs to office equipment. Repairs to an office equipment would be, what type of account would that be? Isn't that an expense to the business when we have to repair our equipment? And it's, and it's, it's an expense, it's something that we use up in generating revenue. But if you go back up here and look, we have, what type of expense accounts do we have in our chart of accounts? We have lend expense, advertising expense, utilities expense, and miscellaneous expense. Well, repairing equipment is not a rent expense. It's not an advertising expense. It's not a utility expense. So it must be supposed to go in the miscellaneous expense account. So expenses are increasing, and increases in expense accounts, if you go back to your sheet and look, are recorded by debits. So I'm going to debit miscellaneous expense for $1,500. I'm sorry, $500. I don't know why I said $1,500. Well, a good question would be, when do we use the miscellaneous expense account? Personally, I don't like to use the miscellaneous expense account. If it was if it was my business, I'd want to put it into uh, repairs and maintenance expense. A lot of times, uh, the larger your balance is in miscellaneous expense, the more questions may be asked in the future. But when you're looking at these problems that the textbook gives us, if it doesn't go in any kind of logical classification, then we don't have a choice but to put it in miscellaneous. Then we go down to the 30th. On March the 30th, it says we paid the telephone bill for the month. So again, here we're paying. We're paying with cash, right? And cash is increasing or decreasing? It's decreasing. And decreases in cash are recorded by, which is an asset, are recorded by credits. Credits go on the second line, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in first. But let's be thinking about the other side of that and what it might be. The telephone bill. The telephone bill sounds like just a regular ongoing day-to-day -day expense of the business used in uh, generating revenue. So it's a recurring expense for us and when we look at our expense accounts we have rent expense, advertising expense, utilities, and miscellaneous. Telephone is some, is, it could be classified with utilities. Um, Utilities expense is listed here. It is uh, an expense account, and whenever we pay our expenses, um, we're actually increasing the uh, expense account. So we're going to debit utilities expense because increases in expenses are recorded by debits. We have a few more. On the 31st, it says fees earned and billed to customers for the month of $24,800. So fees earned, that is uh, what we're in the business of doing. That's our revenue account. We're in the business of providing services for our customers and earning fees. And it says we've billed our customers. So I have to ask you, you here, is cash involved? No, it's not involved. There's nothing anything about cash. We build our customers. But 
In accounting, we record our revenues when they're earned, not necessarily when we receive the cash. So we've earned these revenues, we've provided the service, we're billing our customers, our customers owe us. So when our, when our customers owe us, that means that we performed that service on account. And since it's for our customers, it's either going to be accounts receivable or accounts payable. Now this is a customer that's going to have to pay us in the future, so it would be accounts receivable. Accounts receivable are assets. So when we're billing our customers, we're increasing what they owe, which means we will be increasing our asset accounts receivable. And increases in assets are recorded by debits. So I'm going to debit accounts receivable. for um, $24,800. All right, fees earned. We talked about that was a revenue account, and I see when we look at our chart of accounts that yes, we do have that listed. Um, and if we go back to the rules um, of debits and credits, um, when we're increasing revenue accounts because we earn some revenue accounts, it's a credit. So we're going to credit fees earned for Going on down to the next thing where it's the end of the month, we're paying our bills. It says we paid electricity for the month of $450. Again, look, we see that we're paying here. Anytime we pay, we use cash. Cash is an asset and it is decreasing. So if it's decreasing, we're going to be crediting it. But if you remember, our debits go first. What account would we use when we pay electricity? Going back up, electricity is just a regular occurring, regular monthly expense. And electricity should fall under a utilities expense. Um, expense accounts, if they're increasing, again, because we're incurring that expense, uh, we would um, be recording it as a debit. So I'm going to debit utilities expense for $450. And we said we were paying for it with cash. Cash is decreasing. Cash is an asset. Decreases in assets are recorded by credits. Okay, our last transaction here says that we paid dividends. Okay, dividends are paid to our stockholders. We're obviously going to be involved in cash here, but what's the other side of, of paying dividends? The other side of paying dividends is that it's going to come out of one of our stockholders' equity accounts. It's actually decreasing the rights of the stockholders to the assets of the business because we're paying them. So um, we would um, be decreasing the stockholders equity account which is our dividends account and decreases to the stockholders equity account are recorded by debits so we're going to debit the dividends account when we pay dividends in this case it is $3,500 and we paid our dividends with what? cash a cash dividend. Cash is going out when we're paying it out. It is an asset and decreases in assets are recorded by credits. So we will credit cash for $3,500. And that concludes our practice problem. And I hope you've, uh, this helps you um, in analyzing business transactions into debits and credit parts as you work through some of your assignments.